Hello, hello, everyone, and welcome back to Kukwa in the City. Yes, period. I hope you're all doing good. So we're back with Kukwa today, and we have some exciting things on the menu. Uh, It is not even six in the morning yet. Kukwa just woke up, so she has some house things to do. If you don't remember last episode, if you haven't been watching the series, please do look at my San Alto playlist on my channel, where you can dive into my aesthetic soft life sims 2 gameplay kukwa recently got a promotion and so she is the events supervisor at her job and so she basically has to run all the events and right now we are working on a large lux charity event to raise some money for the community so today we have to do see about that we have to meet with rain if you remember in my other episode rain is one of the celebrities that kukwa met at the club and at yoga class and she was able to convince rain to give her a chance and uh, have a meeting with her and hopefully sing and perform at their charity event so we're gonna have kukwa go ahead and make her bed and then head over to freshen up like i said it is 5 48 in the morning so it's about to be 6 a.m notably interestingly enough when kukwa woke up this morning she rolled two new wants these are the wants here she wants to be flirted with and she wants to ask a sim on a date and she also wants to dine out you guys so this is me saying that kuka wants some growth she wants to step out of her comfort zone and actually be the one to ask someone on a date and i didn't want to fulfill this want until she actually rolled it uh she has the day off today yeah but we're going into work anyway i didn't want to pressure kuka into asking anybody out or you know tell the story for her like it's up to her so i'm just really glad that she's able to decide for herself and say you know what i want to ask somebody out like i'm tired of being this shy girl like don't get me wrong i still want to be chased (laughs) still want to be pursued and desired but um yeah no i want to ask somebody out and i want to take a risk here and so she's gonna just wash her face and get ready for the day uh she is a little bit hungry so we should eat before we head out because we have a full day ahead um so let's take a look here i love her kitchen aren't you guys literally obsessed like the kitchen is literally like so aesthetically pleasing i love the countertops i love all the decor like everything about this kitchen is giving me life Ah, she's giving some love to cream good morning cream morning i love our cat although she was acting up when we went over to our parents house for um for bloom day so kukwa had a pretty good bloom day she also has one of her wants here as bbffs with her mom and i think that's really nice she wants to like rekindle that relationship and just grow stronger with her mom and fix whatever the issue was because her mom had an attitude and she was a little on edge and yeah so i think we're definitely gonna have to do a mom date really soon so kukwa is gonna have her good good breakfast this breakfast looks really good like the yogurt has fruit in it strawberries i love that I actually do like uh, Greek yogurt with strawberries and then a little bit of granola. It's really good. So I'm going to lock this in as well. Just some behind the scenes on how I do that. I use the Sim Blender and I have a whole video on the Sim Blender and ultimate control mods for The Sims 2 if you are interested. I just use the Sim Blender. I go to wants and then I add a want lock and then I just lock it. So that just added another lock option for me. So now I have three because those are the wants I think align with Kukwa right now. So go ahead, girl, finish up your food. It's not giving what it's supposed to get. Okay, there we go. It's going up a little bit. But it's true. Sometimes these healthy foods do not fill you up, honey. Okay, so let's have Kukla get ready for the date, and we'll see you at her job. All right, so we made it to Chair to Sam, and this is the kukwa's workplace again you've already we've already done her work day here several times at this point so you're familiar oh who's this samuel hi samuel this is one of my dean wood sims he's actually the clinician this is someone good to know let's go ahead and greet samuel he could definitely oh my gosh that's ivy literally the main investor of dean wood and that's literally his ex that's the funniest thing ever okay let's say hi to him do we greet him uh we can admire him oh my gosh you're literally the clinician in town right he's like yep i am that's me she's like that is really cool good to meet you um 22 oh three bolts girl 
this man has a fiance don't even try it and that's his ex probably staring at you is she staring is she staring no <laughs> okay <laughs> but maybe she has a meeting with Marianne because that woman in the red dress that was walking by is Ivy and Ivy is one of the top investors of my town of Deanwood she's basically like the Malcolm land grab um, I think it's worth having a bit of a chat and talking to Samuel and we could just tell him like hey you know we're actually doing some things for the community to fund like sport initiatives and things like that and you know um, I'm actually putting together an event and it would be so great to have the board the hospital and the clinics and the community the health community to have you guys on board like that would be really really cool and so um, maybe I'll get your contact and I can share with you the information it looks like he's saying no but I think she's convincing and he's like hmm, i'll consider it <laughs> um i did update the space the lot so i want to show you downstairs everything is the same everything is the same maybe ivy has a meeting so she's waiting for marianne everything's the same down here oh the washroom is different i just added these individual um all in one bathrooms because i think it'd be nice to have some showers and some just like more resources for people who need them um and so you can it's basically like a toilet shower stall it's all in one so i just did that um everything down here is the same and then upstairs is a bit different okay so upstairs you come onto the floor and the first thing you have are these cubicles here and they're the same cubicles you saw earlier i just moved them over a little bit because kukwa didn't even have a table like there was no room for her so oh, we see silas here busy at work 8 43 in the morning first one in the office <laughs> um and so everybody has a desk and this is kukwa's desk over here love 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 okay cool i added in a water fountain here which is just really lovely because they can get a drink and stay hydrated and all that then over here this is so freaking cute oh my gosh i'm sorry this is the cutest little corner i literally added in this like you know little seat area seating area and there's like some bagels and like this abstract art and obviously this uh, space orange is like the tied together color so it's a common thread in the space and i really appreciate this little corner and then over here in this first office we have marianne's office and she is in here working as she should <laughs> and she has all her degrees on the board and everything like that she's literally a boss get those fundings get those grants get it all marianne you own everything um and so this is her cute little office and she just has everything she'll need so we'll definitely be meeting with rain with marianne today as well and then this is the meeting room as you remember it we all had our morning meetings in here and i just added some windows like it was very dark and stuff so yeah i added some windows and just made the space feel a little bit more sectioned off so there's the meeting room marianne has her own office a sitting area and then the communal workspace here so we have mateo in the kitchen here and she's gonna go ahead and greet him just be like hey man how are you doing uh i think they can give each other a bit of a hug they're kind of cool all right so we have rain in the building she just showed up walked through the doors so kuka this is your time to do your thing what we want is for her and rain to talk a bit she'll meet marianne and they'll sign the contract and basically rain will be our performer for our charity event marianne is already seated okay boss woman she's like oh the meeting's at what 10 it's not even 9 55 and i'm already in the room kukwa is like good morning marianne it's good to see you marianne's like of course where is um our guest of honor she's like oh she's coming right on up she just had to use the washroom okay sounds good and she's like yeah you'll really love to meet her she's literally a musician like she's famous marianne's like i'm aware <laughs> she's a high profile client and she's like yeah her husband's not like shh Hi, good morning, everyone. Um, sorry if you heard Kukwa say your husband is an athlete. And Raina's like, well, he is. So <laughs> it's not offensive. And she's like, okay, I didn't want you to think there was any reason to be alarmed or anything like that. <laughs> and so they're just going to chat and really just carry out this meeting. And Raina's like, okay, well, Kukwa told me that, you know, there's a charity event going on. And I, I'm excited. and I want to be a part of it. Uh, in what capacity would you need my help? And so they're going to talk and have this meeting. I think that Kukwa is going to entertain everyone with some champagne this afternoon. And I think she's going to basically just be like, um, let's all toast to 
<laughs> let's all toast to this new opportunity and cheers to some new um, opportunities and connections. So Marianne tells Kukwa, like, good work. You know, I'm so excited to meet you, Rain. I'm so excited to um, see you at our upcoming event. It's going to be amazing. I do have a couple of other meetings, so I am going to have to depart at this point. Um, and so Kukwa's like, oh, of course. Like, you know, let me walk you out type of thing. So Kukwa's like, okay, thank you so much, Marianne. For all your support. Thank you. Awesome. So Marianne left. It's just Kukwa and Rain here. And their friendship meter is going pretty high, honestly, 52. That's pretty good. Uh, so Kuko's like, thanks so much for agreeing to do this. And Rain's like, girl, I got you. Don't even worry about it. I'm excited. Oh my gosh. Y'all hear that, right? Y'all hear that, right? Who fell in love with who? Downstairs? <gasps> no, uh, you guys. These two are literally always doing some some stuff. Like they're broken up, they hate each other, they love each other, they have a very love hate relationship. But you guys are not part of Kukwa's story. Kukwa and Rain are gonna end up end off their meeting, and I think it's been productive and good. And she's like, "Girl, I will see you this weekend. Thank you so much." So let's get on with our schedule. So this is the strip, okay? The strip, love it. And so it is now two seventeen, and we are gonna have Kukwa head into the boutique. And we're going to actually pick out something nice for her to wear for the charity event this weekend. Uh, I know it's going to be really good. Go ahead and buy something formal. All right. So we are going to do our shopping together. We need something. You know, this charity event is something a bit formal. It's fancy. So these, you know, this type of dress might be cute for someone else, but not the host of the soiree. Okay. We need something a little bit va voom a little bit wow. Because she has invited a lot of stakeholders from the community. And honestly, like, they are watching, right? They're watching to see, like, what is she going to do next? Kuka is someone who, again, she likes to stay covered up. She's modest, preppy. That's her style. That's her vibe. So, yeah. These aren't bad. I feel like in a darker color. Like, something like this is very Met Gala. It's very eleganza, extravaganza. What else do we have? Four hundred dollars. So we are going to pay for our four hundred dollar dress, four hundred simoleon dress. Period. We got it. Nice. All right. So, so we are back with Kukwa, and she is just doing some cleaning, of course, as you do. She came back and put her dress away, and I will definitely be showing you guys the dress that she ended up picking for the charity event um, in the next episode. So stay tuned. So we're just doing some light cleaning. Uh, Kukwa likes to keep her space really nice and tidy, but we were supposed to hang out with Jasmine, but look at Kukwa's wants here. I like to play a wants-based game. I think that tells the story really well. We have dine out with Sim, ask Sim on date, blee, blee, be flirted with. Those are her wants. And then also get a roommate. And I'm not even mad because the rent in the city is so expensive. So she literally has to go downstairs and pay her bills right now, actually. The rent in the city is literally so expensive. Her rent is like $1,900 and then her bills are like $700, $800-ish. So she ends up paying like almost $3,000. So yeah, but she's not getting any support from her parents. She's totally out here independent at this, in the city doing her thing. Um, but as we know, nonprofits do not pay that much. So you can see that the bills are $723. That's not rent. That's literally the bills. So she really wants to do a good job on this charity event to get another promotion and hopefully earn a little bit more, work with some high paying, high profile stakeholders, and make a little bit more money. Because San Alto is not it's not cheap. So Kuka's aspiration meter is quite low um, and we're in like the orange and I think we do need to start fulfilling some of her wants. So we are going to just take the plunge and we're going to go and ask Wes on a date. So let's just call him up, call, ask out on a date. And we're just going to do it. Like the whole point of moving to the city was to do something new, try something different and have some fun. So she wants to do it. We're going to go and do it. I don't think she would ask Silas because they are working on this super big project. Um... And she just started her new job and I don't know I think she would feel a little bit like she's disappointing Marianne who hired her in good faith so we're gonna ask Wes on a date would you like to go hang out and he said community lot or your place hmm hmm <laughs> I'm gonna say community lot maybe he's like what did you have in mind were you thinking we could go to a restaurant because I actually had somewhere I wanted to take you. 
So we are outside and we see Wes pulling up right here. And so we are going to start off with a nice hug. I think Kukwa is kind of shy. She's not going to do a romantic hug right away. So something kind of nice and calm. Perfect. Love. Okay, so what does he want to do? He wants to slow dance, talk, dine out, and flirt. Okay, Wes, get your flirt on. So this is him flirting a little bit. <laughs> I think that's so cute. Okay, so let's head over to the secret location. Oh, oh, before we do. Okay, some strong feelings right off the bat. He loves her. Okay. And has a crush on her. Okay, so it's still premature. What about her? She's also feeling those intense feelings. Okay. Okay, let's head over to the secret location. Before we head over to the spot, I wanted them to finish off some interactions. And I think they're so cute. Oh, gosh. They're so cute. And peep one of her wants to get engaged to Wes. She is falling and falling hard. Falling hard. I think we're going to talk uh, gossip a bit. Oh, he wanted to talk as well. Okay, cool. Oh, okay. Get a back rub, kiss, be flirted with, hug. We can definitely hug. Let's keep it. Let's do a romantic hug, yeah. And he wants to be flirted with. I think she'll also flirt with him. A little bit of a sweet talk moment. <laughs> Awesome. Now let's head to the secret location. <laughs> All right. So we are at the secret location that I keep referring to. And this is the park and art studio. Fun fact, spoiler alert. Some cool detail is that Wes actually owns this art studio. And so he wanted to bring her here. You can see him saying, Kuku, I wanted to show you my, my, you know, my place of work, my passion, my baby. Cool. So I'll give you a quick tour. So this is Park and Art Studios. First of all, this is so freaking cute that they're standing here like that. Oh my gosh. So Wes is a creative and he's also very much entrepreneurial. He is a fortune sim after all. So when you come into the art studio, there's a place where you can purchase a ticket. Of course, Kuka will not be purchasing anything because this is a date. And then we have some really beautiful um, pieces of artwork that Wes has made. And his vibe for art is very much black history, black excellence, historical uh, interpretations and things like that so we can see that reflected in all of his art pieces here beautiful 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 some are for sale and some are not for sale so he does do um, art shows and things like that from time to time so we can see some of these art pieces really really lovely and now we do have some of these uh, what like clay works or like sculptures and clay works and things like that and the reason why he has some of these is because he is not shy of the clay machine the pottery wheel thing the washroom is just back here and upstairs there's a whole studio where he hosts art classes so let me give you a good look it's a loft style building so upstairs on this part of the loft area is the studio portion so downstairs is where people will view the art there's like a seating area to talk about things whatever but upstairs is where you can actually do the art so we have these easels here with uh this uh thing for visual inspiration so i guess in one of his classes they all have to paint this and then back here we have the pottery wheel and i think this is so nice um and so this comes with sims 2 free time and so you can use the pottery wheel maybe you have to be at a certain art level but that's fine but he um offers classes all right my apologies i realized that the black pottery wheel tables were for children so i just had to quickly switch them out for adults and i think he's uh, wes is gonna bring kukwa up here and uh you know teach her basically how to do a pottery wheel situation Ah, uh, so he's like here's my art studio and I want to show you how to do this girl oh that is so cool she's like wow so he's like basically showing her how to do it and letting her know like this is something I really wanted to show you this is something I really wanted to to um, bring you in into this side of my world my art my creative zone and so why don't you hop on a wheel and try it out and so I think she is like oh my gosh I'm gonna make a fool of myself but I'm also going to try it out and so let's do it Okay, cool. 
Yes. And maybe he's instructing her along the way, like, keep it steady. Keep the wheel steady. Okay, y'all. So this is literally the cutest thing ever. So they're both working on their art. And I think he's instructing her as they go along. Like, so you kind of want to bring the clay up to the front, you know, bring the clay up to the top. And she's like, okay, <laughs> I'm going to try my best to do that. There we go. Looks like she's having fun. I'm excited to see how they turn out. This is literally the cutest thing ever. And they're gaining skills together, which is really nice. And maybe that book on the table there is, um, oh, okay, he did something. Wow, awesome. This is actually my first time using the pottery wheel. So this is the plate that he made. And I think that is so freaking cute. I love that. I wonder as they go up in the skill, like what other things they could make. Or maybe there's some sort of mod or something I can find to like make custom things. I think that's so cute. All right. So it looks like they're having tons of fun. And Kuka is still doing her thing. Oh, she's done. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at her plate, you guys. <laughs> Oh, that's so funny. I need to get a picture of that. Uh, take a picture. We're going to quickly grab a picture of our clay item. So she's about to take some snaps. And I think this is the perfect picture. They're defi they definitely had fun doing the pottery thing. I thought that was the cutest thing ever. Notice that one of Wes's wants is to get engaged to Kukwa. Interesting, because one of her wants is definitely to get engaged to Wes. So... They're definitely feeling each other. Yep. Let them know how it's done. Okay. <laughs> there you go. All right. Awesome. So I think now we are going to go and get some food. Um, she does want to dine out. She's been wanting to dine out for a long time. They both want to kiss each other. It's been established. We'll just lock those in. And I think it'd be kind of nice to take a picture. Don't we think it'd be nice to take like a bit of a selfie or something? So let me set that up. Unfortunately, this is not The Sims 4 and it's not a built-in feature, but I do what I gotta do. Oh, they're so cute, you guys. Okay, I'm gonna take two. I'm gonna take a close-up like this. Not that close, like this. That's a cute picture, perfect, love it. So what did we think, you guys, about this pottery day? I thought it was literally the cutest thing ever. They did such a great job, and it was really fun. And look at their work at the end. This is her plate, and this is his, and I think it's so cute. She did get a good picture of her plate, so let's look at some of their pictures. She has this really cute one of her plate, so funny. And then their pictures together, just, they just took a couple pictures. Um, yeah, so I think now's a good time to head over to the restaurant because she did have a want to dine out and they both are a bit hungry. So let's head over there. All right, so we have made it and they are embracing each other. I guess they enjoyed the walk over. Very, very cute. This is called The Strip and it's basically uh, like a downtown strip of locally owned businesses and so we have a boutique which you already saw the bakery and then the restaurant doesn't it look so good at night like literally so realistic right absolutely love and you can see the lovebirds here very cute so let's head into the restaurant and get a table i think i want to sit indoors because honestly um it's always raining it's springtime anyway so i guess that makes sense let's have Wes come and let's choose to be seated Oh, they're still hugging. So cute. And Kukla, you just head inside as well. We're already at a dream date, you guys. That's crazy. I didn't even realize. They haven't even kissed or anything. So let's be seated. He's like, hi, good evening. Sure. Right this way. I'm hoping he gives them a good table. <laughs> let's see where they go. Perfect. That was the table I wanted. I didn't want to sit outside today. Oh, we have um Akil from my Marilina video oh look at her scooting over she said oh you're sitting too far away from me okay nice she gained some enthusiasm as well she's thinking about what to get look how stunning this looks oh my gosh so cute <laughs> Aww. okay cute where's the waiter at though we are going to order for kukwa let's get some there's risotto tortellini lots of tortellini options here interesting baked chicken breast what should she eat broiled steak au jus that sounds very delicious i think it's 98 dollars 
but it sounds good. So we're going to get the broiled steak. And then for Wes, Wes is going to get, hmm, what would you like, Wes? He's going to get the, he'll get the filet menu. And we are done ordering. So he's like, I think I'm going to go to filet mignon. And she's like, okay, that sounds like a good choice. Awesome. So they are chatting and enjoying their date. This is so cute. Let's have him do something also. Maybe we can do a bit of a toast. A toast to my lovely date. Thank you so much for gracing me with your presence in my studio and also at dinner. And she's like, you're most welcome. <laughs> It's like, oh my god. Oh my gosh. He's like, I'm so sorry. Wes is like shaking. It looks like he's trying to like restrain his anger. Don't even kill me. Not our food getting spilled on us. Oh, look at him. He's like glitching out. Oh my gosh. Okay, Sid, do not spill it this time. Thank you. So he kept his calm and his cool. He did not get mad when, um, you know, when the food spilled on him. And I think that's really nice. Does their food look burnt or is it just me? Like, it's giving very much burnt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or is it just me? Am I tripping? I feel like their food is burnt, you guys. What do you think? Unless you like your steak extra well done. The filet mignon didn't look too bad, but the steak au jus looks a little bit dark. Unless that's steak au jus. Alright, let's go ahead and blow a kiss. I like that they're really like talking. They have a lot of common interests. She's telling him about the um, the charity event coming up, and she's like, maybe you could be my date and take me to the event and come with me. And he's like, of course. <laughs> so cute. And I think they'll definitely do another toast. Oh my gosh, the date is over. Okay, so the date timer ended and it says, Wow, that was about the best time I ever had with anybody. I really want to go out with you again. Please, oh please, oh please. I can't wait to tell all my friends. Aww. He's like, you, we've had so much fun. I'm not going to end the date here though. So they're just embracing each other and he's like, come here. Oh, that's so cute. As their dinner finished. I think he's going to caress her cheek. Can you get out of the way here? So I think Wes is really just like caressing her cheek and he's just like, you know, this has been such a great night for me. Like, thank you. And she's like, no, thank you. Look at them. They're so cute. And let's uh, give a nice romantic embrace. She does want to kiss. Okay. A nice romantic embrace. The hype mod is causing this, but I think it's still very cute. Um, he wants to get married and he wants to buy some jewelry. Oh my gosh. He literally just was like, hello, this is the girl for me. He wants to buy jewelry, you guys. Literally the ring. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay, okay. I think that he's going to go in for the kiss. I think he's going to go in for the kiss. I think that's what's going to happen here. <laughs> the hype mod is making the, the thing kind of different. But I love that. And I think he kissed her on the forehead and said, have, have a really good night. Let me... Um, take you home so we are back at kuka's place and she decided to invite wes in oh look at cream sitting here sleeping so cute she decided to invite wes in after all it is quite late um and so she figured that why not just come over and we can talk a little more i mean they just shared their first kiss and stuff so they're on their way and so okay perfect they're here so i think they're talking a little bit and she's like i really like that you know we've been able to get really close really fast and I'm sure he's over the moon about it as well. Um, and he's like, yeah, I'm excited for a charity event. Like, thank you so much for inviting me. I'd love to attend. I can't wait to see what you put together, the musicians, everything. Um, and I think he's going to be like, come here. And she's going to come there. Okay, period. She stays sat. Look at them. So freaking adorable. And this is where ACR takes over and they can kind of just do their own thing. But they are the cutest ever. They both have wants to get engaged, to make out, and to dance together. He wants to, oh, look at that. He wants to get engaged to her and to flirt with her. So clearly, like, the relationship is very strong. Let's look at his relationship. <gasps> Wait, do you see this? He has 55 relationship with Jasmine kukwa's best friend and three bolts of attraction with her so he's attracted to jasmine as well okay you have good taste but 
conf- conflict of interest but there's no crush or anything like that there he just thinks she's attractive fair enough because kuka also thinks that other people are attractive like silas she thinks akil is attractive yeah she thinks samuel's attractive so attraction is okay so long as there is no um relationship milestone and jasmine wouldn't do that to kuka right they're literally best friends so kuka has three bolts of attraction to wes uh, a crush on him she's deeply in love or she loves him um best friends forever and friend and he basically feels the same way so they're they're in it to win it man <laughs> they're in it to win it i hope you all enjoyed <laughs> next episode we're gonna definitely do the charity event finally i've been talking about it forever um and so yeah let's give them some privacy and i will see you all in the next episode Take care, and we'll talk soon. Bye.